tea farmers from across the country under KTDA have all the reasons to smile after the government announced a 5.5 billion tea bonus in the first quarter. Total 5.5 billion is, a, is a, the total cumulative figure being released tonight today because you all know that there is a payment that is generally done every month, which is at shillings 21 uh, shillings per kilo of tea that green leaf that is delivered. Given the financial challenge that most people grapple with in January, Agriculture CS Medical Intuit says that the move is the burden of taking children back to school, which parents have to endure all the time. We support 650,000 uh, farmers whose factories are managed by KTDA. And this declaration of 5.5 billion, which is being released today, we really go a long way in supporting our farmers and trying to pay school fees for the children that are joining various uh, education institutions. Three weeks ago, Linturi had urged the KTDA board to consider giving farmers the bonus, something that the board agreed to. The government last year gave a, a subsidy, a subsidy for fertilizer, and from the information that we get, is that out of that subsidy, our tea production are really increased in the months of December and the months of November. Given that tea accounts for 2% of Kenya's GDP, Lin Turi urged Kenyan ambassadors to promote Kenyan tea in the countries they represent to increase its market base. And with the government's support in this sector, I'm sure this money will be able to push on the sector from the external economic challenges. Uh, that uh, our people are facing, our farmers are facing right now. The government plans to start adding value to tea before it is exported to increase profit. Linturi added that there was an increase in tea production in the month of November and December. Thank you. <coughs> Dan Kaburu, K24, Nairobi.